Okay, today is day one of cat dissection. We're going to prepare our cat by looking at the anatomical positions. So one thing that I want you to know, the dorsal side is here. This is superior to the ventral side, which is the abdominal side. This would be inferior. We have our anterior portion of our cat and our posterior portion of our cat. When we make our insections, we want to put this into anatomical position. So it's paw side up and feet facing down. For us, we would have our thumbs up. So for right now, we're going to remove the largest organ of this dissection, and that is the integumentary system. The skin on most of these is extremely tough, and that's because cats get into fights. It's very durable. Remember our integumentary system is made up of three main layers. We have our dermis, our epidermis, and our subcutaneous layer. You'll notice it's held to our muscle by connective tissue. We want to stay very superficial when we're cutting this because we don't want to get into our muscle layer. So on this superficial, we're actually going to take our thumb. This is a blunt dissection. And we're pushing that layer, the connective tissue, away from the subcutaneous layer. Remember the dermal tissue is the only one, or the dermal layer is the only one that has blood. Your epidermis is actually not living. It is dead. And as we start moving, we can start separating things. You're going to see little string-like tendons start forming. Uh, those are nerves. We will also see little red and blue. Those are your veins and arteries. As we go down, we're starting to open this tissue up and expose this. So you can see the nice exposure, our muscle, and then our skin, our integumentary. The connective tissue is quite tight. So we're gonna wanna separate that out from here. Be careful not to get your glove caught on a claw or a tooth, as I just did, because you'll rip it. We don't want to, we want to stay superficial. We're not in a hurry for this. We do not want to separate out any major muscle um, from bone. And so cats are a little bit easier to skin. than some species, but they do. This is a male, so it does have quite thick skin. And the calluses are a formation of fighting. And so we're just cutting over so we can expose our muscular system here. It will tear very easily and that's okay. As you can see here, we've now exposed part of our thoracic cavity. We have our pectoralis major here. You can see the little red. These are arteries that are coming. Those are dermal arteries that are connected to our dermis. Remember that is the only portion of the skin that is getting blood. And as we go down into the abdominal cavity, the skin should become thinner and easier to pull off. Again, we're exposing that thoracic cavity. Really nice cut right here. Opening that up. So now we can go into the abdominal cavity here. The skin down here is almost paper thin, which makes sense. This doesn't have as much exposure. 
and we will finish and when I come back you will have an entire abdominal cavity exposed we'll start looking at the muscles of our calf.